Hi, I'm Dr. Sandra Swain and the director of the Washington Cancer Institute at the Washington Hospital Center. And my main area of expertise is really in breast cancer. I've been doing this for about 25 years. And I wanted to talk today about the phenomena that's really been occurring over the last few years of women getting double mastectomies when it's really not necessary. And it's really been striking to me how this has increased. I think there are a couple of reasons why this has happened. One, we are getting a lot more MRIs, a special radiology test of the breast, and the MRIs do show up other things in the breast, in the opposite breast, more likely than, more commonly than a mammogram would. So in those cases, women end up getting surgical procedures on the other breast when they've been diagnosed with a breast cancer on, on the first breast. So that's one of the reasons, but it's really, it doesn't account for so many double mastectomies. What I see a lot, and, and this hasn't changed a whole lot over the years, but it, obviously when a woman gets a diagnosis of breast cancer, it's extremely frightening, and there's a lot of emotional reaction to getting a breast cancer. And what I see is women say, I don't want my breast anymore, it's got a breast cancer, just remove it and remove the other one while you're there because I don't want to go through this again and get a second breast cancer. Because it is about a half to a percent or so a year occurrence of a second breast cancer if you have a first breast cancer. And, and, and to many women, that's just too much. They don't want to deal with it. What I really try to do is talk women out of that, unless, of course, they have one of the genes, the BRCA genes. In that case, it's a very reasonable thing to do, but that's, that only occurs in 10% or less of patients. So in the typical woman who doesn't have the BRCA mutation, I really recommend that they only get a mastectomy on one side and treat the breast cancer that's been diagnosed and get very good routine follow-up with mammograms and, and if an MRI is recommended, get that on a yearly basis. Because it, if you give endocrine therapy, for example, tamoxifen or an aromatase inhibitor, the incidence of the a breast cancer in the other breast goes down to about a quarter percent a year, so it's pretty small. And to have removed both breasts, I think, is pretty drastic when you've just had one small breast cancer in one breast. So I don't usually recommend that, though it is amazing to me how difficult it is to convince women of that. They just get very frightened and they decide they just want to have this breast removed on the other side. I mean, for many years, 30 or 40 years, we've been doing clinical trials showing that less surgery is totally fine. The survival is actually the same whether you have lumpectomy or you have a mastectomy, uh, lumpectomy and radiation or a mastectomy. So it doesn't make sense to really have the other breast removed when you don't even really, in most cases, need to have the breast with the breast cancer removed. The less surgery really is better. And if you have less surgery, you still have the feeling in your nipple and you still have the sensation there. Whereas if you do have mastectomy, you can have reconstruction, but you never really get a normal breast back.